117 young men and women, four days of intensive training and dance that held the audience spellbound. That's what took place in Abuja. German Springer culture, which began in Berlin in 2002, with the goal of uniting the world by showing individual designs created by different artists on behalf of their countries, showcased at different locations around the globe, and now it has found its way to the nation's capital. This work of art is done by Yusuf Ibrahim titled Two-Face. It stood out as the winning bear as it represents the strong ties between Nigeria and Germany. It takes a while, Sha. it's not something I just rush into. It takes like uh, maybe a week, you know, thinking of what to do. But eventually I now come up with uh, merging two faces together to form one unique face. You understand? And that is what is going on here right now. There's there nobody that looks like this. This is just an abstract face, but it's a face of somebody. It's uh, traditionally for centuries the heraldic animal uh, of Berlin. And, uh, but we, we thought we should make a kind of promotion of Berlin a little bit more modern and famous and in order in particular to, to show that it's not only the bear of Berlin but it's the bear of some all over the world. And so we have such bears all over Germany but all over the world as well. In, and they are painted by, uh, by artists, by painters of the, uh, of the regions where they are now standing. And so we had the idea to, to get a bear here to Abuja and a Nigerian painter painted this bear, this bear with, uh, with ideas from Nigeria and from Germany, so we have a, a, it shows the strong relations between our two countries in the cultural field as well. And then to the performance of the dance masterclass with Kudus Onikeku, who fuses Nigerian traditional and contemporary dance to paint pictures and tell stories without words. The performance itself speaks volumes about the power of joining forces as the Kudan Center, the German Embassy and the French Institute collaborate with an aim to engage Nigerian youths positively while showing this unity through dance. The idea was to, to, to bring uh, traditions of dance theatre, we have, uh, you have here quite traditionally in, 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 in Nigeria and you know we have dance theatre in Germany to bring this together. And Kudus was the ideal person because he studied in Europe, he studied in France, he performed in Germany and with his last performance of dance theatre he, um, he was in Berlin, he was, he was then in Lagos, here in, in, in Abuja and we thought we combined it with a dance class for young Nigerian dancers and so the result we saw tonight here on this terrace and I think it was a, a wonderful experience that we could see tonight at this terrace.
it's trying as much as I can to, to spread. You know, we've been in Lagos for a while, and I think it's time to decentralize, to, to go to Kaduna, to Lagos, Abuja, Kanu, Borno, Enugu, Porakot, and see, because for me, we live in a society that, that has a huge uh, young population. And this young population, most of them are unemployed. And um, if they are unemployed, there must be something they love to do. And uh, it's dance, usually, because it doesn't take anything from them. They have it naturally. So I want to use dance as a way of also participating in national development or whatever you want to call it. For the participants, interesting and educative best captures the experience. It was kind of very interesting because I've never had this perspective like dancing with cultural instruments, doing contemporary dance. So I had a wonderful, very wonderful time and it, 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 it helps build up something from within. Sometimes you just dance with your body and all sorts, but actually the dance has to come from within. You have to show it from inside and express it out. If I see another opportunity to do it again, I'll jump right at it because it was new. It was not something we had seen before. It wasn't something we had experienced before. You know, as human beings, when you see something that is fresh, you want to go for it. No matter how hard it is or no matter how far it is, you're willing to run towards it. So that's the way this is. It's like it's painful. It's like bittersweet. It hurts the body. But at the end of the day, your mind is sort of renewed. I've come to an understanding of dance as a total process of understanding the process of life itself and uh, how to be, how to share, how to take, how to give, how to express vulnerability, strength, courage, hope, anguish, loss, you know, love, hate, all this kind of human, only humans feel these things <laughs> and only humans can find ways of expressing them. New, different and creative, one sure way to keep the youth out of trouble is to make them use their hands or their heads. He has his roots in Germany but has a strong connection to Nigeria because he did many great things for this country. Our artist for this week is...